Hey Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Arising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is Valentine's Day and the weekend leading up to Valentine's Day and beyond, okay? Uh, I just want to say that this could play out past, present, or future. It is a collective reading and it may or may not resonate with you fully. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I want to say thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. So in here, I have words, phrases, okay? Um, we're going to get the overall energy of this read. Valentine's Day through the weekend, through Valentine's Day and beyond. For all my Scorpio out there. Oh, yeah, there'll be more than that. Yeah, that gave me too many, right? Okay, so expect some type of inspiration to come in for you, Scorpio, someone arising. Okay, we have willingness, but allow this to take place, okay? Don't be too controlling, all right? Here we have sisterhood and brotherhood, okay? There could be some strong bonds forming between you and another person. Look, there is commitment, okay? That's going to be taking place. So a strong commitment is what you can expect. Um, here we have awakening, you could be undergoing a spiritual transformation right now, having an awakening. Um, know that an adventure is about to start. I feel like you and another person is about to come together. Um, maybe a friendship or situationship expands to something more. Yeah, with a free, empty, write it in, whatever it is that you want, right? With a blank card. Whatever you want to take place will take place. You'll have the power of manifestation because of your efforts, because of your strength, okay? You could have Leo somewhere in your chart, some moon arising. Here we have wisdom. I feel like all of these things have led you up to um, attaining wisdom, to do it all over again if you needed to, to help others. Here we have let go and flow. I feel like this was uh, one of your lessons that you learned. Here we have prepared. You also learned how to prepare yourself for changes to take place. You learn to nurture yourself, okay, in order to be prepared to receive these blessings. You have that lighthearted um, inner child energy, right, where you have that balanced energy, that perfect energy, right, for creation, for manifestation. We also have you on the right track, yeah. Because I feel like you're definitely on the right track and you were in the past. Look, you had to find some type of new approach here. That's how you gained your wisdom. Create and create, be artistic. Okay, you really use your imagination. You have a very strong creative mind. Clear within. You learned how to clear your energy so you can, you know, do these feats, right? accomplish these goals you did so in time alone all right believing in yourself building yourself up right after surrendering to the divine we also have accept and re-choose maybe you had to go back to the drawing board in the past all right a lot of cleansing energy And then the wake up call, right? Getting close to the end. Here we have up until now. So in the present moment, here we are, a mirror reflection. So it tells me that you could be um, attracting in a soulmate, a twin flame rather, or just someone that you have a deep connection with in this lifetime, you know, um, to the point where you mirror each other and lessons that you have both learned in life. You may learn a lot from each other. You may trigger a lot of soul growth within each other. What are you thinking uh, as all of this is taking place? Valentine's Day weekend through Valentine's Day and beyond. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Investigate. Look closely. Ask questions. Think before acting. You're like, I just heard old shit. 
I feel like you really don't want to deal with this. You don't want to be bothered right now. Mm, it says no need to fear. Remember that you are powerful, right? Because self-doubt could be creeping in. How can I pull off something so good? It's a lot of responsibility, right? Spider-Man was that when it was like where great power comes, great responsibility. The bottom deck, we have the unknown, descent, momentum, change. Okay, that's where you begin to change this mindset and you begin to create more. We have becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective, right? And then we have who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. It's like a transformation took place and you changed for the better. You had this awakening and you became inspired to create, to manifest your reality. And here we are now. Prosperity. Expect prosperity to come um, into your life. Scorpio, sun, moon, horizon. We also have rest and rejuvenation. Okay. Bottom deck is inspiration. Yeah, it's giving me um, rest because the best is yet to come. You're going to be probably um, traveling a lot or doing a lot of creative projects. Have boundaries because you don't want uh, to be depleted. Okay, that's where that rest comes in. Prosperity is going to be yours. But have that clarity as well knowing when to rest when to work okay yeah with that communication speak up for yourself okay so let's see let's throw a little tear on it before i close out the read spirit what's the energy of this weekend through valentine's day and beyond for all my scorpio someone horizon please and thank you the devil. So toxicities. Um, okay. So when it hurts so bad, why does it feel so good? That Lauren Hill song. Um, you constantly thinking on like poking the bear a little bit, constantly thinking about something because it hurts a little bit. Right. Thinking you're facing the situation, but you're just like being hard on yourself. With the Three of Cups, it was a third party situation um, that you could have been exposed to. With the Three of Wands here, it's like you saw it coming. With the Six of Swords and you're feeling like you could have avoided it. You're like, damn, if I know if it would have messed me up this bad, I would have followed my first mind and avoided this whole situation. With the Six of Cups, you keep thinking in the past. Release this and let it go. Right? Ace of Cups. So that this could come in. With the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It's like maybe you always dreamed of getting married or finding this love of your life. Here we have the five of pentacles, but mistakes happen, right? Shit happens, right? And your heart became broken with whoever it was that you was putting time and effort to. With the queen of pentacles and the nine of swords, it's almost like an energy of you keep telling yourself, I told you so. And you should have been working on something else. You should have put your attention towards someone else. You put all your eggs in one basket and you keep downing yourself over this. Here we have the chariot though. Move forward despite what else anyone is on the outside thinking, okay? Keep your house clean. Work on yourself internally. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside, okay? With the star card here, it's like you have the power to regain your power and have that stability. A lot of you all may be relocating and just having a fresh start, a new beginning where you're just as passionate, okay? With the Knight of Cups, you can expect this person to come back and try to offer you a higher commitment, try to have some type of confession here, come forward and speak some type of truth here and give you some type of justice so that you can rekindle again. They're going to really try to pull teeth here and put in some work because you're going to go MIA. <laughs> you're really going with the end, you know, uh, and it's like it's almost forcing this person in a way. 
right? When we saw that mirror reflection, it's forcing this person in a way to think about why would you pull away and just go MIA on them? And they think about how they didn't give you that emotion that they should have given you. Oh, let me get one more. The Six of Swords here. Yeah, with the temperance. The person wants to fix things, but I feel like you're fixing things within yourself already. The Empress and the temperance card. Yeah, it's like you're fixing. With the high priestess, you already know that this person is about to reach out, okay? But with the Ace of Wands... And the Queen of Pentacles, I think you're more focused on your stability. That's what you're working on, your stability, your money, your abundance, okay? With the Seven of Cups right now, you're not even out here choosing. You're not even thinking about this right now. With the King of Pentacles, I feel like it is attracting in someone, though. Just as you are, just as you really maybe start to get a little stressed out about this situation and wanting to leave a person, right, from the past. A King of Pentacles comes in. This is an earth sign, sun, moon, a rising. Um, action oriented towards you. They may reach out. What's under this eight of wands is the nine of wands, okay? Hmm, and judgment. This person may bypass everyone else and get your attention some type of way and... Yeah, what's standing out right now is the find a new approach. This person could have found a different approach, okay, and got you in some alone time. Hmm, that's very interesting. The side story begins. <laughs> so if this story and this message resonated with you, Scorpio, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.